As our Tina Malinsky explains, Steve and Nancy Fair have combined successful bowling careers and a close-knit family life with earning a fashionable living in suburban Cincinnati. When Steve and Nancy Fair of Cincinnati were married in 1979, they had a plan, and they stuck with it. This is the result. A booming pro shop for Steve, a newly constructed home with a lot of privacy, a lot of room for their two children, Jeff, age 9, and Stacy, age 7, and the ability to spend quality time with their children. But it wasn't always like this, and that's where their plan comes in. Before they were married, both were successful amateur bowlers. Steve won three ABC titles and three medals in the FIQs. But in 1981, they decided Steve should try the Pro Tour. Nancy, who would give up competitive bowling at this time, encouraged him to do it. Yes, I, I did. I knew he had always wanted to do this, and I figured this was the best time to do it. At the time, we had just had Jeff, so, and I was going to travel with him, so we still had five years before Jeff would start school that we could travel all together. At that point, it was basically, uh, what was I going to do to make a living? I'm 27 years old at that point and I had to decide whether I was going to go and work for somebody else or try to get in, uh, into a different uh, business or try the pro tour and at that point we decided let's take a shot at it and uh, at that point we decided to go on the pro tour for a while. And that's what they did, together. Nancy and son Jeff traveled with Steve as he made the stops on the tour and it wasn't easy. Expenses were about $1,000 a week and for the first six months on the tour Steve had a lot of trouble but at the 1982 Masters in Baltimore, things turned around. Steve finished fifth, picking up a nice paycheck, but most importantly, picking up a lot of confidence. I was starting to doubt my own ability and my uh, uh, efforts had changed into the professional conditions and everything. And with our group of bowlers, the Browning Pontiac team, we went out and we won the uh, ABC team event that year on the last day. And I had a good all-events finish and had my best finish ever in the Masters, finished in fifth place and bowled pretty good on TV, just had a few bad breaks and uh, that basically brought all the confidence back and from that point on for the next couple of years I bowled real solid. His Masters performance led to bigger and better things. Just a few weeks later he won his first pro title beating Earl Anthony in the 1982 event in Indianapolis. Later he won the Brunswick World Open beating Steve Cook. So this very successful amateur was now a successful pro. And he says this victory against Anthony was his proudest moment. I've got a couple special victories that mean a lot. Uh, the FIQ team bowling for the United States really meant a great deal. And then the ABC team championship is, is definitely on an even keel with that. That meant so much with the guys that I bowled together with for 10 years. You know, we really put it all together in Baltimore. And that meant a lot to us as a group and to me individually. But I'd have to say, uh, beating Earl Anthony, because it was Earl Anthony at the time when he was really the man to beat, uh, was probably a notch above everything else I've ever done. That was just a great thrill, and that was definitely the culmination of uh, what I had worked real hard for. Steve would leave the tour in 1986 after surgery on his right wrist. He started having problems with it a few years earlier. So it was then he would begin his current career, co-owner of Fair Calhoun Bowlers Corral. His partner in the business is Jack Calhoun. The business is going very well. One reason is because of its location in the Western Bowl in Cincinnati. That's where the Hoinkie Classic is held, and the lanes are booked 11 months out of the year. When Steve left the tour, Nancy began bowling again, and she bowled like she'd never been away. She teamed with her husband to win the 1985 Bowler's Journal Mixed Doubles and the 1989 Gold Rush Mixed Doubles in Las Vegas. Her average in the event was 233. Plus, on her own, she won the 1989 WIBC All Events Championship. That is the one that means the most to her. That was probably my most exciting victory that I had. I, I really enjoyed bowling with Steve in the doubles out in Las Vegas, but that would have to be, I guess, the most prestigious tournament I've won. It was a great throw. So their plan worked. Steve found success on the tour, his pro shop business is going well, and Nancy won major titles. They used the money from their bowling and their full-time jobs to build their new home. Their lives are busy, to be sure, but very satisfying as well. We're working hard for what we want, and that is this new home, and uh, eventually to, you know, do special things with it here and uh, uh, get some of the things that we'd really like to acquire before uh, we get too old and possibly take a few trips down the road. It's, I think it's worth it. It's, the hard work is definitely uh, paying off. For Bowling World, this is Christina Malensky reporting.